Hello everyone, it's Donina here and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We're currently on board of the Unreliable um, and we're going... Captain, I wish to offer my commendations for convincing the UDL's gunship to leave HRS-1084. I did not favor the idea of being stripped and sold for parts. I completely understand, Ada. Don't you worry. Um, yeah, it, it was a bit of a weird quest we just went on. Let me quickly open up the quest menu. Uh, journal. Uh, we had... Mm, which one did we do? Um, yes, uh, we did the Ice Palace. And uh, HRS 1084 is kind of weird because... What we came across wasn't your regular research, research center. Um, the researchers had used themselves as the subjects because they got none. They mutated in some sort of way so they had to put, be put in these... Um, like, what were they? These tubes filled with liquid? I don't know. In the end, I think maybe two of them left. It was a really weird station and quite... Yeah, not, it, it wasn't my favorite to be honest. I wouldn't want it for my own. We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain. But other people do want it on their own, for their own and for their own purposes, so that's why we're here again. Uh, you know what, let's keep it these two. I'm perfectly fine with taking Parvati and Yoka with me. Um, so yeah, that's what we did last time. And yeah, I didn't feel really comfortable on the ship. It was quite weird. So I hope the person who we are giving the station to knows what she's doing because, to be honest, I kind of don't know what. Uh, let me activate my quest by the way because I think another quest is selected. Yeah. Uh, did I run the wrong? Do I have to go back to the unreliable? She was here, right? She's a monarch. Wait a second. Supplied in the groundbreaker. Of course, wrong one. Oopsie daisy. I thought I had to go to the person who was right here. A monarch, but it was indeed a groundbreaker. So never mind. Let's go back to the sh our ship and make sure we're actually landing on the right place. I'm just discovering that vending machine. No way. That is so weird. Alright. To the groundbreaker it is. Um... Yeah. I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. I think they are discussing that way too often because this is like the third or fourth time you're telling me that since we have both Felix and Parvati on board. Destination reached. The groundbreaker. And I cannot say that I know for sure that um, we can receive that many. Uh, how the hell they called? The, the space dramas? Whatever they were called. I don't think we can receive them that well on the groundbreaker. Oh, the groundbreaker, the unreliable. But well, whatever. I mean, if they like it, who am I to ask questions? I think. Well, they are my crew, so as a captain, you think I'm allowed to ask questions, right? Uh, but never mind. Let them be. Just let them be. Alright, supplied. Here we are. I hope she can give me a bit more information because she was quite secretive the last time and I really didn't like it that much. Well, at least I got my girls with me. Like a girl squad all the way. So, Lydia, what can you tell me? Finally, a base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. Well... Oh, suspension things. Those things are called well. I heard about that. While my lawyers scratch their heads wondering how we deal with human salvage, I'm leaving the researchers in hibernation. Aside from the automated security, did you meet any resistance at the station? Uh, Yuriel gunship does at the station. <sighs> I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch, maybe even longer. I've been less than honest with you. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. We might have figured that out already. <laughs> what do you think? Of course, Raka is an lab that tested on people. Couldn't be a coincidence. You have an eye for patterns. Good. We need more contractors like you. 
After the monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big. Something none of us were meant to know. And that's bad news, I think it's? Maybe the worst. Well, tell me. Ask yourself why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. Uh, I'm guessing you have an idea. I mean, it's just expensive research from, uh, like hiding research from pirates. I mean, that also sounds like a valid plan, but I think you have a better idea than just pirates, right? Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? Hell, I've been rescued out of a hibernation tank myself. I'm experienced think I shouldn't experience. I think keeping an open mind is the key to being sane right now. So, yeah, I can do that. Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084. And who knows what else? We have to put a stop to it. If you can't say anything good, don't say anything at all. Hear me out. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony and I can't do it alone. This doesn't feel at all right, Captain. Right. I'm done. I'm officially tuning you out until such time as I hear the words payment and or shooting. The crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions. Out of all the possible options, like pirates, rogues, competing scientists, crazy people, which you are part of, let's be honest. You came up with a solution to all your answers, and as aliens, uh, I've got a few questions. If we're gonna see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for setting doubts aside. Come on, lady. When you say aliens, what are we talking about? Like the green slimy... People, I guess? Things? Animals? Whatever you want to call them. Conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators. Assuming they haven't all been replaced. So... This is an invasion of our very cells. That damned gas is mixing our nuclein with Halcyon biology to twist us, change us. Make us more like those monsters on Monarch. So you're saying two things. Either they are body snatchers, just place their own in place of higher people so they can collaborate on taking over the humans here in Halcyon. Or two, you're talking about like faster Revolution or something like that? Evolution? Like, they want to make our humans evolve in something that is not just human, but also with, like, DNA from monarch monsters, so we can actually survive here in Halcyon and don't have to eat salt tuna that is not actually salt tuna in a can. So, <laughs> yeah, the little green bestest must be. Terrific. That go-getter initiative will carry you far in sublight. You didn't get my sarcasm. So, how do you know I am not an alien? Sharing my findings took a calculated risk. If you were a spy, I doubt you'd even realize it. Only your cells would know. Alright. Tell me what needs to be done, because I have a feeling this whole chitty chat... Wasn't to get me convinced of your alien story. But you probably need something from me that needs to have the information of aliens. Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species. And I need you to put a bullet through her skull. Alright, so why does, she, why does she need to die? I mean, I can bring her here and she can explain things. Don't you think that's a better idea than just... Completely believing your own story and thinking it's aliens? She's a research scientist and a damn good one. Before UDL poached her, she engineered a 0.2% increase in cysty pig juiciness. 
Now she's doing the same thing with humanity. Her fingerprints were all over Station 1084. You saw what she did to her team. Well, your concern, if th your concern for the fate of our species is admirable. You've got me all wrong. Oh, that's about money then. I just want to add savior of humanity to my resume. I've got ambitions outside of this office, you know. Besides, this way Sublight gets first dibs on alien salvage. All right. Uh, sounds messy, but I'll take the job. This key card will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Don't ask how I got it. You might not like the answer. Shut a servant. By now, the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything Chartrand says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that. All right, Byzantium it is, I guess. Did I already mention that lady is crazy? Of course not going to sign this without speaking to her. I mean, aliens, really? Of all the possible combinations, of all the possible solutions you could think of. Why Halcyon is such a dipshit colony. And why everything is completely going off the rails. You're thinking it's aliens. Was there, by the way, anything else we need to do here on the Groundbreaker? Let the devil speak. Uh, Data Carrot Rich. Uh, Sean Sanjar is on Monarch. This is on Monarch as well. And this is something I don't want to do. And something else in Supply Tunnels, which is in Falbrook. Never mind, we're going to Byzantium. I really want, always want to see that place because it's supposed to be the capital. And if the Hunger Games. Are anything to uh, are any reliable source or something to go after? It means the whole world is going crazy, has uh, food problems, etc. And the capital is a deep place to be, with all golden finishes. So yeah. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Ah, don't care. Uh, where is Byzantium? I don't know, Sita. I don't think it's on Terra 2 either. Where is Byzantium? Hello? Where is Byzantium? Am I so blinded I'm not seeing it? Scylla? Hello? Oh, it's indeed on. Wait, what? Plato and Isaac Terra Halcyon Balthus elite live in the capital city Byzantium. Alright, I just think I need to get there. Byzantium is on Terra too? We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. Let me quickly check my map of the region. This is Roseway. This is, I think, the wrong side. We are now in orbit above Edgewater. Region. There is no Byzantium here. Where is Byzantium? It's supposed to be on Terra too, but I don't have it here. Like, Terra two is an idyllic terrestrial planet. Helsin built the lead live in the capital city by Zenthia. Mother colony labors live in the corporate owned townships along the frontier. All right, no Terra two it is. Let's go back to Monarch and uh, no, I need to the other way. Crap. Uh, Sanjar. Uh, stellar Bay. Thank you. Uh, so we're not going to Byzantium. That's a bit unfortunate. I really looked forward to it. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame. Well, anyway. At least we're here. Let's do a quick fast travel. Oh, I cannot fast travel anywhere. Never mind. Then we're just walking to Sanja's office. Any 
you can go down again. Is he still here? I must have made Grim has something else to do. They're just standing around. Uh, where, oh, where? Hmm. This one? Yes, it is. I was looking for the other door, like this one, but couldn't find it. Thank you again for retrieving the bolt. It's every bit as complex as I'd heard, but I'm up to the challenge. Ah, no problem, anyway, son, Charles. What can I do for you? Don't mention it. Uh, I found a data card with details of UDL's secret experiments. Excellent timing on your part. I worked my fingers to nubs, but I finally completed the Bolt 52 form. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the reformations. I'm very happy to you hear that. ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? Um, uh, what are the reformations you're talking about? I'm working on a plan to reorganize the board. Slowly, peacefully, and with meticulous documentation. You... you are? You... that... You could do a lot of good around here, you know. Don't go getting my hopes up. But that's entirely the point. We've got to hope. We have got to partake once more of the full resources and opportunities of Halcyon. What about the folks out in the wilderness? Amber Heights, Fallbrook. Will you share with them, or will you hoard those resources here? My sincerest hope is for MSI to become a model for all of Halcyon. But we must start somewhere. But truly, I am getting ahead of myself. First, I need to submit the Bolt 52. With that data you're holding, of course. Ah, sure. Here you go. I knew there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcasts from us. Um... Alright. That was easy. I mean, that did go well for once. Alright, what are we going to do? Uh, sure, let's go here. Uh, can I travel to the region? Uh, no. Tap. Region. Where do I need to go? There. So let's go here. It's nearby. Interstellar Competi- uh, Championships. Races Rangers versus Pacers Chosen. Hmm. Alright, so where do we have to go? Oh, that way. Let's go cross country. Ah, this works. Keep my pistol out because you never know what to find. Manta pillar. There we go. Oh, what do we have there? A uh, raptor on sp We've got raptor on mama. Our big friend is coming around. You'll be fine. Really, you'll be fine. Nioka, really? Stop shouting, girl. Stop shouting. Here we are. Uh, Baronator the service of Haynes. Uh, Haynes. Haynes? 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 Grave a small lockbox that Haynes rusted through and the wood almost completely rotten. It nearly falls apart in your hands, but in it you manage to find a tarnished silver medallion bearing the letters Charon. Hayes was the best self sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Now, if we're gonna lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra 2, and we never heard from them again. I think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. If anyone can track them down, it's him. 
Um, tell me about the UDL contract, please. I don't know much about it. It paid well, so they took it. They said they'd be back in a couple of weeks and that maybe we could all use the money to get off Monarch. That was a long time ago. All right, so... Sounds like I abandoned you, to be honest. I don't rightly know what happened. I should have tried to track them down back then. But soon after they left, Hayes and the others died. Oh, I'm so to sorry. To be honest, after him, I, I stopped trying. Because it hurt like hell to do so. Hmm. That's a concerning amount of baggage you carry around, to be honest. Well, shit, I'm working on it, all right? You think I like lying awake at night? You think I like stewing on the similarity between rap screams and my friend's death throes? Whoa, I'm... whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll get there. Quips from you ain't gonna help me along the way, so stow it. Now, come on. Let's make tracks before Hiram dies of old age. It was more concerning, hey, you're carrying a lot of baggage, instead of a accusing, hey, you're carrying about a lot of baggage. Let's make that clear, shall we? Because I don't like to be accused of anything. But it does it was it meant to be that way. Alright, it should be a path almost right here. There it is. Um, let's see. Is this the right path I'm walking on? Yeah, about it. Oh! Oh, all this. Oopsie daisy. Thanks, poor body. They are fine. Oh, that's rubbish. I'm not going to pick that up. Someone dropped over here. At least I think it did. I hear a SEM unit. Oh no, just... There you go, Nyoka. Covering you. Thank you very much. Oh, I don't know whether a bunch of flying bugs really need to be 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 smashed down like that. I I doubt your hammer hit anything, to be honest. But oh crap! I need my pistol out. There we go. Two thousand ammo. Come on, Yoga. Well, I think it's fair to say he he's dead. Go. Really? You run past me? Oh, rubbish. Rubbish to say. You guys are fine for now, are you? If that's the case, I am just going to loot the place. There we go, bit of ammo. Um, can I enter this door? Hunter- Oh, there's the hunter post. Have I already been here? Did I take the wrong turn? Oh crap, I did take the wrong turn. Can I fast travel, like... Doesn't really matter. Alright, let's run back. And this time, let's try to go to the right place, shall we? Uh, do I need this route? Yes, I do. Alright, because Dallas is the big factory that we took back, I think. Whatever you want to call it. Alright, so if I know, there should be a path like right here. 
Is this a bath? This is fun, isn't it? I nice think it views, is. A little exercise and fresh air. Oh, well, wonder I didn't see it. Self -ry, -ry it's... It is a... Oh, it's working! There you go. I think I said this coming before you start shooting. Thanks, Bravadi. Oh, let's take our regular gun. Oh, there you are. Alright. Hi, okay, guys. I saw a dead scientist thing somewhere. Here you are. Alright. Ooh, they got a big feast. Resident, Marauder. They weren't very picky what they were eating, were they? A um, that's the same. Well, doesn't really matter. A gun's a gun. Maybe one of my crew members need it in the future. Alright, there we go. Let's reload real quick because I got one ammo left. Oh, again. Manta Queen, really? It's about the last thing I would like to see here. Basically, you gotta do whatever you're good at. You got it, Again? What is with you guys and monster smashing birds? Manta Killer. Alright. I'm blowing through my ammo. It's not fun anymore. It's heavy ammo, so it's not even that easy to get by. I'm not a Manta Queen. Really, come on guys. I need to get her another gun if it isn't. Yeah, but you know what? Like, can I get you another gun? No, I cannot. I should do that. There we go. Thanks for dying, guys. Alright, let's try this again. Yoka, I love that you have this one. Uh, how much damage? 800 damage. It does loads of damage. But how about you take this beautiful assault rifle? What do you have? Um, right, you know what? We're, we're going to change these around. Uh, yoga, let's give you temporarily a shotgun, which I am completely disagreeing with, but... I had to switch it around. So this is 900 and 600 something. Alright, now you guys don't have... Uh, and here we are. Told you we'd make it in one piece. Station ain't too far now. Hey, you! Get over here! There are marauders up ahead! <laughs> I always wanted to poke through a high gain wall. This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. The who, the who, who, who? You a marauder? Because me and my sunshine, that's my gun if you were wondering, we don't take kindly to marauders. Oh, don't you worry. Sure, I'm totally a marauder, yes indeed. Uh, definitely not. A coherent enough response, I reckon. Must be true. <laughs> You're clear. <laughs> but I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know. Ah, that's fine. Thanks for the tip. Hey, we're here to help. Long as the paperwork's done and the pay's good. Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with. And that's guarding these big old devil's peak horns. Ah, we'll be fine. I'm off. But for now, guys, before we storm in and kill every bit of morale that we can find, let's take a small break. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell if you want to get notified every time I post a new video. If you got tips and tricks for here at the Outer Worlds, or you have an idea of which quests are really, really fun to do, please let me know in the comment section down below. 
Have an awesome day and I hope to see you guys next time.